Well, if you're like me, you've heard the coyotes out and about. Oh, yeah, me too. Like Ben David learns why they ramp up this time of year in our Wildlife Watch. Spring is the time of the year that coyotes are more active, according to wildlife experts. You'll be seeing coyotes more often this time of year because it's breeding season. Fur bear project leader for the state, Brianne Furphy, says coyotes keep active in the winter and tracks can be spotted throughout the state. But now, because of the breeding season, coyotes are expanding their territory. Females are finding their den spaces, males are marking their territory, and then in about a month or so, they'll start having their pups. When they're out and they're about this time of year and they're doing that, um, they tend to get a little bit closer to people um, in areas where where food is abundant, right? So in urban areas, um, there's a lot of prey resources for coyotes. Furphy says that coyotes are abundant in Vermont and are important for the state. And they're incredibly valuable to Vermont's ecosystem. So um, yes, they do play a role. And where you can see them varies. It varies on the habitat and what prey resources are available. But generally, grasslands look like this, where you have some really good mixed habitat, um, some good mixed forest habitat here. Um, and some wetland areas are just absolutely perfect for, for prey. And even though you might not see coyotes, there's a good chance you can hear them. This time of year, you're going to be hearing them more often throughout the winter, and they're communicating to each other um, just to help establish, hey, this is my area. Um, it it kind of goes along with the scent marking, and so they're just you know, navigating their area. They're letting other coyotes know that, hey, this is my pack and my territory over here. Um, we've got plenty of food resources, so you're not allowed over here. Although rare, interactions with coyotes can happen. Furphy says be aware of your surroundings while out in the woods. Generally, you know, having your animal on a, on a leash um, or your pet on a leash is going to be the best way to prevent any sort of conflict. Um, I would also say that generally coyotes are not going to be pursuing people so if you were to go for a hike in the woods and you have your dog off leash um you know coyotes can smell that and detect that from a long distance away so they're not going to want to have any sort of interactions it's the nature of the species you know they they really don't want to be around people they don't want to be seen and there are some reminders to be aware of at home too of course making sure that you have your pets enclosed um if you're if you're seeing coyotes around the area make sure you have a pretty good fencing system to kind of keep them um, in one area um, and generally it's similar to bears you know you don't want to be feeding any wildlife you don't want to be feeding your pets outside because that will attract other animals that the coyotes will prey upon a reminder to keep an eye out for one of the state's predators this time of the year in windsor ike ben david channel 3 news